Geminis, how are we this week? Um, this is your weekly reading from um, May the 2nd to the 9th. I hope everyone is having a good week so far. If this was nice with you, please like, subscribe, share, um, comment. Um, be super, super helpful. I thank you for everyone who's kind of been watching and um, responding and kind of, um, I don't know, here for the reads and, and following along. I really, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Um, remember, these are general readings, so if it doesn't resonate, check your moon and rising sign. Um, or it just might not be in your energy this week, and that's totally okay. Um, take it for what you will, you know. It's your choice. <laughs> uh, so we have the page of uh, swords here, which kind of means um, information not coming in, um, kind of means like there might be a block in kind of communication here. Maybe someone's not stepping forward. Um, it just kind of feels like whatever it is, it, it, it's this energy of something maybe we're going back to the drawing board on. Uh, maybe there is this connection or um, maybe there's this idea or thought that, um, we had that isn't really coming through um how we ho kind of hoped it would and maybe someone um maybe this is a connection someone a person um that you're hoping to hear from or respond from and they just kind of cut communication um with you maybe stop talking to you this is kind of ghosting energy um could be as well so there kind of might have been this opportunity that you were really hopeful for and um saw kind of coming in um, but the energy kind of stopped here and the energy it just kind of um you're just like where did that go it just kind of kind of cut off all communication um again this could also be something maybe someone blocking you or you kind of blocking someone online or just kind of the communication stopping ghosting not um coming through or coming forward with um, a message here um interesting so um there is this four of wands energy as well which is kind of it talks about finding a uh, foundation and coming home energy um maybe for some of you you're kind of on the way back home from a trip or something like that or this is an experience here um that you had uh experience that you had and now you're kind of returning home i don't know i'm trying to get more information on what this uh, reading kind of is okay with this four of wands energy hard work mm. yeah it seems here that there's this kind of um Going back to the drawing, uh, or again, something not coming through the way you kind of hoped it to, and uh, maybe this is something that you've been working on. It could be a relationship, could be um, a home, a foundation, or something like that. Um, that we're kind of, um, again, we're, we're realizing that the universe is maybe coming in to make some changes. Maybe some of you are moving home kind of back to um, where you grew up or your kind of hometown here um, because, again, something didn't work out the way you kind of hoped it to. The tower's coming um, energy is here because it's going to feel like things are kind of being shaken up a little bit. Um, I don't know why this lightning bolts. Um, this lightning bolt on this tower card for me is kind of being like, I just got an image of the universe being like, like that, that kind of destruction that's happening is trying to jolt you kind of like right on the path you're actually supposed to be on in a weird way, if that, if that makes sense. There's going to be some changes going to come in here with this tower card. It's going to feel like a lot. It's going to feel like a little bit, uh, like a pretty um, decent shake up here. Um, but again, just kind of go with the change, go with things that are kind of happening because it seems like... Um, I feel like this change is kind of, kind of be in your best favor, Gemini. Um, whatever it is, whatever kind of change is happening here, this shake up. Can I get more on this tower? For some of you, it might be, again, um, uh, you might be kind of returning or this change up is kind of happening for your financial gain. Um, so you can kind of be on a more financially kind of stable pack because I also have the financially stable with the King of Pentacles here. And I also have the Two of Pentacles reverse, which means spending too much money. Um, that um, So maybe some of you, again, I don't know, maybe you're on vacation or maybe you're kind of living away from home for a while or something like that. Um, but you've 
spent too much money and you kind of want to kind of focus on your finances, focus on your abundance here. So you're going to move home or kind of come back to kind of where you're from. Um, maybe you're going to move in with parents, uh, maybe something like that in a way to um, gain a, bit, a little bit more financial stability here. Um, there is a devil re um, reversed, so we might be kind of moving away from some toxic, toxic energy. Um, maybe this person was toxic for you. Um, whatever this communication that's kind of stopping here, uh, um, if it is a person you're moving away from, or it could just be some habits that you're having here um, that you're kind of trying to distance yourself from. And I really see you kind of um, working on your financial gain again, kind of getting back um, a little bit of control back into your life with the Emperor card here. Um, you could be dealing with um, Earth sign. I have Earth on the board, um, which is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, air sign here as well could be, um, I have Aries, or sorry, Aries, Capricorn, Earth sign, and maybe an air sign as well, um, as well, Gemini, so, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I think you're kind of, you want kind of control back into your life. You want to feel things that are, feel like things are in order again. Um, back to self, because there is this past energy here with you, or with you, Gemini. Let's just see what this past is. This past energy for Gemini. Holding on too tightly to pentacles here. Holding on too tightly. Hmm. <laughs> you might be someone Gemini that really likes control that likes to have things planned out and mapped. And I feel like maybe this uh, uh, tower moment, this little shake up, this change that is happening, is kind of freaking you out a little bit. And you're just kind of like, you're like, I don't like that. I like to be in control. I like to hold on to things. Um, or before maybe you were holding on a bit too tightly for money um, there. And then you kind of had a time where you just kind of spent a lot of money and now you're trying to get that back. It's kind of that ebb and flow of money that's kind of rolling through here. For Gemini, please. For Gemini. Mm. You might feel it's interesting because I have this like spending too much money away. Um, maybe you also maybe are just kind of coming back home or coming back somewhere else um, to ground yourself a little bit here because I have this like really uh, this working hard energy as well um, that you've been kind of um, overworked in a sense um, feeling so maybe this is kind of what happened you had to get away for a while because you were feeling overworked um, feeling like you were just spending all your time working um, holding on to your money instead of actually doing stuff um, spending it other stuff like that um, so maybe you're going through that period of time for yourself where you were just like you know what like fuck it I'm just gonna spend my money I'm gonna enjoy my life because I'm not gonna sit here and just constantly work and feel like my whole life is around work I'm actually gonna go enjoy my life and do things um, and come back to that but now I feel like you're kind of getting into this energy of like, okay, yeah, I'm ready to kind of buckle down again. I'm ready to kind of get back things back in order and like work, um, work hard. More kind of focus forward. There is the two of cups here. Might be making a decision about a lover in your life. Uh, maybe this is again something that you're moving away from um or this is someone you're moving towards it's a clear decision we have can i more on this two cups and this because uh, we have the seven of cups right reverse which kind of means um clear choice instead of confusion so maybe there's this part or partnership you're kind of feeling confused about um but now it kind of seems that maybe you're gonna have a clear decision kind of moving forward with them um let's just kind of see what more energy we have with this um, relationship if it's Maybe the thing you're moving away from, or if it's um, the thing you're releasing, or the thing you're moving towards. I got the King of Swords reversed, which having the page and the King of Swords reversed, um, again, could definitely be another air sign. Um, but in the sense, this person's a little bit cold in the sense of... Um, 
like almost disconnect, like they can be kind of um, mean in their words sometimes, or non-communicative, um, cold that way, distant, um, a little bit of that kind of energy here. So maybe again, you're making your decision on this person who is a bit of, um, you're kind of moving away from this person who's a bit um, not really communicative. Um, they're smart, but they're just like, I don't know, it just kind of feels like this energy which you don't kind of want it or need it, it's kind of cold. Um, and you don't like feeling that anymore. You don't feeling like that detachment, that um, that coldness from them um, anymore. Again, this could be you. Maybe you kind of just got cold towards someone and you realize that you need to shake things up or move away from this person here in this relationship. Whatever it is, whatever it is you're doing with this kind of relationship here, you're going to make a clear decision. The confusion about it is kind of when the clouds are going to lift and you're kind of going to see which, which direction forward feels the best for you. We have this five pentacles here as well. So maybe you felt like a little left out of the cold by them. Um, again, maybe there is the sense of like a loss of a job or something again with the pentacles, a bit of like losing money. Um, that is again, driving you back to kind of somewhere um, back to your home or back to somewhere that's a little bit more um, going to be a little bit more financially kind of stable for you. Um, again, maybe this is a feeling left out in the cold by this person. Um, feeling distant, feeling, again, that energy of walking away, having to kind of trudge forward and move along um, because you're feeling like they just left you to kind of be left you out in the cold a bit. Interesting. All right, let's see what the energy oracle has to say. For Gemini's this week, please. For Gemini's this week, please. Gemini's this week, please. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Gemini's. Thank you. The Cosmic Heart is the Starseed Oracle we got, so I'll read it out to you. When you surrender to the state of devotion, you find yourself flowing with all of life. You're being called to refocus your attention deep within, to the intelligence of your own heart, to bow with the depth reverence to your inner temple, to live your life in devotion to this place, to make your life one big moving prayer. Perhaps you felt a bit off kilter lately, sensing the potency of why you're doing things has gotten a little watered down or weak. Perhaps you've forgotten what made you start doing them in the first place. If so, this is your call to take a moment and reconnect the truth at the very center of your heart, to be get back to the essence of what you're about, to devote your life to what you care about most, to return your gaze, uh, to return your gaze deep, 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 deep within. Um, there are reasons for harvesting and seasons, uh, seasons for sowing. Right now, you're being called to plant your soul seeds and sing to them in deep devotion, to feed them with sweet waters of your own soul, to lose yourself in the potency of what it is most that expands your heart, to live your life according to what makes you feel alive rather than what everyone else thinks, to make your life a moving prayer. How can you make your life a proven prayer? And I think that's what we're talking about in devotion in a way in the sense of whatever we're moving towards here, whatever this energy is that we're kind of um, ending that one path to move to something else or the universe is kind of ending it for us. Um, see it as an opportunity to see what this next chapter kind of will look like for you. Um, don't be so scared of this change. Don't be so scared of things maybe falling apart, relationships, things around you. Um, it just means you're kind of might be moving into a different direction. Just trust that you're kind of headed on the right path here. And um, what feels right on your gut, what feels right on the inside is probably what, it's probably what happens. Um, it's probably the way it's, it's supposed to feel, if that makes sense. Uh, reverse. Okay, the Angel of Balance. This is the Energy Oracle. In this position, the Angel of Balance comes with a loving warning that something might be seriously out of proportion in your life. This, um, back to me, sorry, this could be the spending, the overspending that's going on here. Um, again, this could be the things falling, falling through, the overworked energy here. It, like anything like that in kind of this reading here. Um, it could be important for an emotional, emotional co uh, component such as lack, lack of self-acceptance or lack of care. Remember, however, that when you put yourself last, the universe will do likewise. Receiving this card reversed can oftentimes be a warning of lost energy, calling you to relax more, sleep more, even drink uh, just more water. Investigate how you may be out of balance in your time and energy regarding external and internals in your life. 
The adjacent cards in your spread could indicate their particulars. Perhaps you've been working too much. Again, that's what we're talking about, the overworking kind of energy. Or been too obsessed with a relationship or money. This loving angel can help bring you a courage and wisdom you need to break such toxic patterns. And that's what the devil reversed is, breaking those toxic patterns. Meditate on this angel's presence and visualize her pouring beautiful liquid light through all your chakras, balancing them and bringing you peace. Remember that you always have the power to bring things back into peaceful balance. You also got strategy here as well. Making a plan. This card shows a pen, a journal, and a compass, and a key. When you receive this card upright, it indicates that there's the optimum time for setting uh, up a very specific strategy for achieving your goals. Write about the direction you want to go in. Consider any potential change in the course um, that may be needed. Be aware of the particulars regarding your goals and have some conscious plan in mind. Structure the short-term goals needed to make your long-term goals a reality. This card is telling you to spend some more time um, setting things in order it's time to take back full control and add a thought to action set your sights on the road ahead and that's what we're talking about all here with the emperor card right full circle here we're talking about that control getting that order back into your life um that maybe was out of order for a little while i don't think again what i was talking about with you spending too much money or whatever this out of control patterns was i mean again i feel like it is the ebb and flow of, of kind of life um but i feel like you are feeling on the inside now that's time for a bit of structure um and you're kind of leaning to more some more of that in your life 